What's up? Welcome to another episode of Vibes. This is our second last episode for the season, and I'm Joel. I'm Tsukwang. And on this week's Vibes, we are actually talking to two very familiar faces. I call them familiar only because if you watch episode nine, well, time to for you to pause and then look back at episode nine. Um, they played a cameo role in that episode of the recap. But who are they? So they are the CF presidents from two different schools. So I'm gonna let them uh, introduce themselves. Uh, hi, I'm Amanda and I'm from SMK Damasara Tama CF. Hello, I'm Chloe and I'm from SMK Damasara Jaya CF. So today we're gonna ask them a few questions about their CF and their journey as CF presidents um, through this year, through 2019. Okay, uh, question one is just an introduction. Um, how did y'all even become presidents and what was your journey like leading up to y'all becoming presidents this year? For me, uh, I joined CF first because my sister was in CF. So I was just like, okay, I'll just go CF for everything. So I went CF and then like uh, at that time, there was like a, a huge shot. We have a good, we have seniors that were like really welcoming and really nice. So I was like, okay, I'll. so I felt welcome everything. But then like, there was this lack of like people going down to my age because I was like, oh man, I'm still young. I'm still young. <laughs> uh, yeah, then, yeah. Then um it went on uh, and then I realized that this is where I belong. Mm. And I just learned from that. Yeah. Cool. Chloe? Uh I joined CF when I was in Form 1 also. I was that tiny little kid who followed her big brother everywhere. Are you still are you still a tiny little kid? No, I'm tall, I'm taller now. That's all juniors. No, they're not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, and then um, CF was very big back then, and uh, all the people were very tall, so, so you can imagine how small I was around everybody. And uh, my farm also had very, very few people. And uh, I only started becoming active when I was about form 4, form 3, form 4, when I started joining in the committee. And um, the committee was quite nice, they kind of pushed my badge up to learn more things, to experience new stuff, and uh, yeah. Actually, like, coming in because of, because of siblings, it was similar with me as well. When I came into CF, my elder sister was CF president, and I remember coming to CF, sitting down as that small for one kid. <laughs> <laughs> my sister, at the front, you know, as the MC on the first day. Hi! My little brother is here! He's over there! Hi little brother in front of 200 people. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my very first experience at CF also. What CF, what CF event throughout 2019 was the most mem memorable for both of you and you know maybe a pivotal moment during that time? Uh, Chloe, why don't you start first? <laughs> if you want you can just want to choose and see who starts next time. <laughs> I go first. Okay, I think it's gonna be CF camp. Lah. I'm just gonna talk about CF camp. Er, uh, why? Is because actually, right? CF camp, we were stressing about the wrong things throughout. Like, um, John and Zhuang were the one who like set us down the third day, sec second day night. Third, yeah, second, second day, day night. Yeah. Until midnight, we were just talking about things we should not be stressing about. And uh, I think that kind of hit me a lot, cause while we were preparing for CF camp. It's like super stressful to worry about different different things, different departments. And uh, we kind of forgot to put our focus onto the real place. So when a lot of people start to remind us what we're really doing this for, uh, yeah, I think that just kind of sticks with me the most. Yeah. Thanks, Chloe. Amanda? Uh, for me, I would say camp also, but uh, one of my favorite events was PJ Rally. It's a rally where all the PJ CS school come together. You know, everyone can come. It's going on next year. Everyone can come together. Yes. It's going on next year, so you can come. Uh, but during the whole the whole event, it's really encouraging to see how there are so many people from other CF that are also not from CF all coming to the rally to just. You know, get together, learn more about God, and it's just very inspiring. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. Um. The next question about your CF and your presidency, your tenure as president. Um. What was the biggest challenge you all faced, and how did you overcome it as CF president? 
For me, it was uh, dealing with the people around CF because uh, everybody comes from different backgrounds, yeah. different um, nominations, everything. So uh, the juniors this year are a bit more naughty. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say that. A bit. DJ. A bit, a bit, a bit. This is. No, not as in like the bad naughty, but like they're the hyper naughty kind of thing. Yep. So um, they kind of make things uh, more complicated for you. It's like you plan something already, and then they'll ask different different questions that you have to think outside the box. You're just like so they're not naughty. They are just challenging, challenging you, you. Yes. in a good way. In a yeah. good way. And you're hyper challenging me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you still love your juniors. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and Amanda. Yeah. For this year. Uh, I think one of the main challenges that we had was the decreasing the decreasing of numbers in CF. So uh, we we used to have I won't say that we used to have a really big CF, but we have enough, like around forty, yeah. And then like it went down now, cause like when the seniors left suddenly we like twenty people, like yeah. So it was the challenge was like to bring more juniors in to really fill up. So like, I think that was like the biggest challenge. Ever. So how did you overcome it? Uh, to overcome it, oh, we did we did a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, so during the form one orientation, I mean, not orientation. During the form one, they first go into class like their first day, right? We print cards out with like oh welcome. Wait no, yeah yeah yeah. We did some like well do you see welcome to you or something. Then we went card right. We're like okay okay. Uh, you go you go this card I go this card. We just give out only. Just call all the all the Chinese. Muslim people, yeah, they're like, oh, okay, okay, all the cards, then do all the cards. So, but that's this is a tradition <coughs> for our school. So we always do this, and this year was quite okay lah. We had a lot of new people. Buff, yeah, a lot of new people. Okay, that's good. Right. You talk about your challenges now, but what were the biggest lessons you learned going out of high school? Both of you are from five. Um, next year you won't be in high school anymore. What was the big lesson you learned as year president going out of high school? Okay, um, maybe one of them is really understanding how the juniors are like the base of CF, you know, like training them to go up as the main committee, basically the juniors that uh, are in CF, I feel like I realised that it's not always about the top, the older people, you know, not that old, uh, but it's not always about like the older generation, but actually it's more about the younger generation, so we like, even though like throughout the whole CF, yeah, I was still learning everything, but I realised that even, even, I realised that when I leave high school, everything that I learned, I will bring away from, I bring it out of high school with me, so then what will happen is yeah, so like, the genius, I realized that genius are one of the core. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Amanda. Chloe? Uh, I learned that prayer is very important. Uh, every time I go back to like all these serving things, it always brings me back to prayer. Uh, I'm someone who stresses really easily. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Crank you. Don't tell how the guy and I uh, agree with her. <laughs> so, uh... I, over this whole year, I've had uh, people praying for me, uh, people who pray for my future as well, that um, after I leave high school, uh, I'm not going to have a like a circle of people who will always motivate me to uh, do, to serve lah, basically, and that after I leave high school, it's uni, it's college, and people around are super different, yep. mm-hmm. not, all, not everyone's going to be so holy. Yeah, so um, I think prayer is super important for me. Something I realized that without prayer, uh, I can't do anything much. Mm. I, I get very stressed out if I don't pray. Yeah. Um, so both of us have been coming to your CF uh, every single week, almost every single week. I would like to ask in terms of your own response and how you feel about suddenly these two huge fellows coming to your CF every single week. <laughs> Uh, as for mice, yeah, uh, we used to not having people come to our CF because like it's just us, you know, that 20 people, you see same face every day, then suddenly come up with 
Who are these two people? <laughs> <laughs> it's outsiders, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but then like, but then like, when I was just encouraging uh, to know that there are people there supporting UCF yeah? inside outside, it's very encouraging for the committees and for the members. Just like two new people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Newcomers. <laughs> <laughs> Very stressed leh. Very yeah. stressed. Cause like it's like suddenly like you know people who are not that close to you suddenly like oh we're gonna be actively coming to your CF every week to see how you guys plan everything. <laughs> and then it's like you feel that that unneeded burden there. Really? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> the oh, thank you for ten years now. <laughs> <laughs> but like what Amanda said, it's very encouraging to see people um to come back and support. Uh, to uh, come back when they come back. Uh, yeah, come back, come back, yeah. To come back and support you, or like they are willing to give out their time just to make sure uh things are going well and that the committee is not too stressed mm. to give feedbacks kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, finally, maybe just as a closing, what advice would you want to give your juniors or even other presidents or other CF committee members? You know, because you all have five years worth of experience in the CF from a member to a committee member to. A president, what advice would you give your juniors and other CF committee members? Uh, Menda. <laughs> um, okay, I would say that uh, it, there'll be hard times coming to you. There'll be a lot of challenges, a lot, a lot of challenges, uh, because it's very. Ch- it'll, yeah, it'll be challenging. Always. <laughs> yeah, a lot of challenges. Yeah, challenging. Yeah, challenging. It'll okay. be hard. There will be obstacles <laughs> thrown at you. But don't ever forget who you're doing this for. Mm. You know? Yeah, doing for him. So yeah. Thanks, Amanda. Chloe? Um, like what Amanda said just now, like way before this, uh juniors are the base of CF. Mm. So um my advice to the committees or to juniors is that they should always look out for the juniors mm. and that um Start off by knowing them, and then after that, you approach them one by one to strengthen their faith, so they will continue to stay in CF and then serve, 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 serve. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think on behalf of both of us, and I think even the rest of the SU uh, Scripture Union team, I think we just want to say we're very proud of both of you uh, for holding up your CF um, as presidents. Um, we've seen both of you grow. We've seen your CF grow. We've seen the committees grow. We've seen you all handle through tough situations. Um, and so we're just very proud of the work that has been going on and what God and we're very excited about what God is doing even beyond your time as president so and also um, a shout out to all their committees who yeah. we've been uh, supporting them as well supporting them yeah. because it's not a one man show if both of them disappear uh, or if like you know something happened to them like uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know the committee will still run everything and, and then we all yeah. shout out to you guys uh, the committees of DJ and you as well with all that said, next week will be our last episode of Bytes for this season. And so, please continue to subscribe, to like, to follow us on Instagram and on YouTube. We are at suyouth.my. Um, that's it for now. I'm Joel. I'm Tsukwang. Uh, I'm Amanda. <laughs> I'm Chloe. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode of Bytes. So, Amanda and Chloe, if you could be any part of a top fun dish, the top fun dish, you could be any top fun dish, what tough one dish will you be? I'll be the potato. <laughs> Why? I don't know, I always eat that during my tough one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be that sweet and sour pork. <laughs> I'll be the veggie because everyone eats it. Uh, I'll be the rice because everyone takes that. <laughs> <laughs>